power companies have been offering us ways to make energy for years through technologies such as wind and solar. But the missing link has always been storage. Energy storage is important as it allows you to store renewable energy, um, which can enable you to charge electric vehicles or run houses and other load applications from renewable energy. Energy storage is important now because as a customer, people are very focused on making sure that they've got autonomy and that they've got the ability, if the grid's not available, to stay and keep using the internet, the TV and all the other things that is their normal day-to-day -day lifestyle. It's never really been viable to store that energy and so we sell it back to the grid. I see energy storage as the future of, of generation. Um, if you look at what the utility companies are doing uh, in you know, China, the United States, Germany, energy storage is the next level. Uh, we can't keep on burning you know, coal and inefficient uh, fossil fuels uh, forever. They are going to run out. They're, they're a finite resource. So what is the promise of this technology? Our technology is an enabler for anyone that wishes to participate in the public electric vehicle charging network to be a player. You no longer have to be one of the big four oil companies to provide automotive fuel. Anyone can play from councils to shopping centre operators to uh, fleet operators and so on. Anyone can be part of the public electric vehicle charging network. The storage demand has come about now because up until recently there hasn't been a policy to encourage the actual consuming of your own power. Now that we cannot no longer see the ability to feed in anywhere near as significantly as what is in the past, solar panels have an ex excess amount of power and they're able to now consume first with a solution like this and then actually if there's any excess then add that to the grid and that's a far better cost effective solution for the consumer. So what are the benefits that this technology offers? A uh, consumer needs to know that they'll, have, they'll be able to buy an electric vehicle and have the, uh, the, the network there to be able to charge that vehicle in their out and about uh, everyday travel. So uh, if they need to go somewhere for a, a holiday or something like that, hopefully with a, a network of electric vehicle chargers out there, they'll be able to go and have that holiday uh, with their peace of mind reassured that they'll, they'll be able to get to their end location and return again. What are these companies aiming to achieve with these technologies? We want to be able to enable customers to utilise solar energy to store it in lithium batteries and be able to be independent of the grid as well as be utilised in electric vehicles. So our ultimate goal is to have electric vehicles charged from solar as well as customers producing their own energy, storing it and using it. And that way, I guess it's reduced emissions. We're aiming to build a public network which is accessible to all. So all who wish to participate and provide charging services and all drivers who wish to fuel and, and go about their business, whether that's business or personal. Uh, when you look at things like wave energy, solar energy, wind energy, they're great, great sources of energy that have no cap on them, but they're intermittent. So what you have to do is you have to store that energy uh, for use at a later date. Uh, if you combine them all together, uh, you can have just as efficient or just as stable of a grid uh, as if you use a coal generator, but uh, the overall long-term cost is less and the cost to the environment uh, is, is, is you know, much less significant. 18 years ago my dad started the magazine and the reason he started it was a number of his friends died during uh, working as an electrical engineer. He wanted to get the message out for safety. So our ethos is a magazine by engineers for engineers to help engineers overcome issues in the marketplace. So if everyone can learn and grow from that, that's great. One of the reasons why we support this side of the conference as opposed to the poles and wire side of the conference is we need to start the renewable energy side of things. The future is renewable energy. Less coal, less oil base is obviously better for the planet and my kids. And that's something I want to develop and help this industry grow with. Why have we never done this before? This has never been done before because of cost. Electronics as well as the actual battery chemistry now has come down in such a significant level through the ability for scaling that we're able to now see that consumers are able to procure both the electronic power circuit, the batteries themselves and the management circuit at a price point where it's starting to become parity with what we're now paying to buy from the retailers. I guess we haven't done it before because the technology hasn't quite been ready. The, the uh, batteries required to do energy storage at the level we're doing now would have weighed too much to put in the vehicle. Uh, it has been done, but I guess like performance levels, people have expectations that a vehicle will perform to a certain level. To achieve that performance from an electric vehicle, the batteries need to be light. 
they need to have a lot of energy to enable distances that people regularly travel. So that technology is now becoming available through advances in battery technology. So I guess that's why we're ready to do it now. I think in hindsight we've seen a number of false starts over the years, uh, but this time, this is the real deal. We see motor vehicle OEMs, nearly all are now committing to electric vehicle drivetrain products, and we see energy networks now looking at um, shaping tariffs uh, to encourage you know, favourable behaviour on the grid, so we have the orderly grid. So all the pieces are in place now. We've got energy networks, motor vehicle OEMs, and charging infrastructure all lined up with the same goal. Really, our, our main focus is to help the companies who exhibit with us uh, to actively promote the technology and implement it into the real world. Uh, you know, there are a lot of companies out there that just talk about it and they think about the potential of it and what you can do, but uh, we want to actually help them affect the change.